Hello and welcome to another Tune for Media lesson. Today we're going to take a good look at Ableton's sampler and we're going to create a very cool ambient sound uh, using a sample of a gong for this lesson. So if you're not familiar with Ableton's sampler, uh, first thing that you'll see is the sample section when you open the sampler and you have these tabs here. So if you press zone it will open up this um, keyboard and you can add samples for each note individually or you can add multiple samples for a single note and then controlling them with velocity. Uh, you also have this selector chain. So it's a pretty powerful and typical sampler but I feel like Ableton sampler has a little more emphasis on electronic sound and kind of funky stuff that you can do with samples. So you have the sample section here and you have like drop sample here and reverse velocity and different types of uh, triggering the sample. Then you have this pitch and oscillator. This is a pretty cool section and pretty unique also. So you have this cool oscillator. So it's kind of a small synthesizer but it's not like a, an individual synthesizer. It works as a modulator for uh, the sample. So you can add some modulation to the samples. Pretty cool. And you have the pitch envelope here and a bunch of general pitch stuff. Uh, and then you have the filter and global. So it's just a regular filter with, a, with an envelope for the filter and then the global envelope. And modulation is just a bunch of LFOs that you can do a lot with them. Pretty great area to work with. And lastly, you have MIDI. So you can actually uh, create different behaviors for the way this sample is playing uh, when using MIDI. So let's say I can use the aftertouch or mod wheel to do stuff or off velocity. So it's the key release. Uh, the pitch band and all a bunch of stuff. All right, so let's load up a gong sound. So let's just search for a gong. All right, this is kind of cool. So just drag and drop here. So now I have a gong sound. So it's automatically pitched because it's stretched all over my keyboard. All right. So for this demonstration, I'm going to scale it down to zero, so it, which means that it won't be stretched. So it's the same sample all over the keyboard. All right? Okay. Um, so in order to create a very cool evolving ambient sound, I'm going to reverse the sample. So I'm just going to press reverse and also press snap. So it kind of snap the attack time in place. See how it moves here? All right, pretty cool. Uh, now, here's the fun part. I want to create some kind of a pad that is evolving, but then I'm just wanting to sustain for forever. So I'm gonna press the sustain mode. I'm gonna press this one. It's kind of cool because it's going back and forth. Uh, so you have a loop like that. So you can drag the loop. So now you have a starting point, but then when it gets trapped into this loop, it will just loop forever. Now, we want to get rid of these edges, you know, these very pointy edges. So you have this uh, crossfade here, you can stretch, and just look for the sweet spot here where you don't, you're not really hearing a lot of difference when the sample is going back and forth. Awesome. So now we have a pretty good starting point now I'm going to go to the next tab, the 
pitch and oscillator. So first thing that I want to create a little more space. So I'm going to spread it like 60%. Right, and I want to create a deeper sound, so let's just go down an octave. All right, sounds great. Notice that when I went down an octave. The attack time is now slower because the sample is actually playing slower. So let's just bring the attack like from here. It's a little less. All right, sounds great. Um, and we're going to go back to this pitch and oscillator section because later I'm going to add a modulation to this sample. Let's go to filter and global. So I'm just going to bring up the volume a little bit. And here you can play with the envelope. And you have this filter. So right now, I'm actually, I don't want to use the filter right now, but I do want to create just a little more, a little slower attack. All right, sweet. And I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit, even even further. I'm not looking for a specific note, but I kind of look for, for an area of frequencies. Awesome. Now let's go back to the pitch and oscillator. And I'm going to add an oscillator. And in this case, I like to add noise. And I'm going to add it as uh, amplitude modulation or AM, not FM. Uh, if you're not familiar with FM and AM, definitely worth to learn uh, different modulations. So I'm going to choose AM in this case. And I'm going to play with the oscillator here to find the sound that I like. All right, sounds cool to me. Let's go to the modulation section and I'm gonna choose LFO1, to control the pitch. And want it to be pretty slow. And one another LFO to control the the pitch of the oscillator, and I want it to be like that. Let's add a nice reverb. a giant one.
and that's it. So I hope you learned something from this video and if you like this video, please subscribe for more and see you next time. Stay tuned.